Hello, Red Hawks. Good morning, good afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Welcome to Art with Miss Radaba. I'm Mary Sue Williams. Let's get started on our art activity this week. I'm going to share my screen with you and we are going to go over our lesson together, okay? Let's get started. All right, I'll be up here in the corner, but sometimes I'll move this little screen if it's in the way of our slides. So let's get started. Now, let's review from last year, okay? The elements of art are tools that artists use to make art, and there are seven of them. There is line, shape, color, form, value, texture, and space. We have used many of these last year in kindergarten, and if you didn't have me, I'm sure that you did it with your other art teacher, okay? So I just wanted to review our elements of art before we talk about our art project this week, okay? Let's move on. All right, we're gonna be focusing on the element of art line. Line can control the viewer's eye. You will follow it when you see it, okay? It can also create feelings, and it can also create movement. So for example, if you see a scribble scrabble, you, have, you can kind of sense the feeling of the person who made that scribble. They might've been mad, they might've been really silly. So you kind of get a sense of feeling when you do see certain line types, okay? Let's keep going. Now, our essential question for this week is going to be, what is a sculpture? Okay, sculptures are objects in three dimension. That means they have length, width, and height. Okay, this creates space in your work. Okay, here is a variety of sculptures that you see, and as you can tell, they aren't flat. You could walk around that sculpture and see each angle of it. So let's talk. 2D versus 3D. A painting is going to be 2D. It's going to be flat, okay? And a sculpture is going to be in the round. You can see all the way around it. So if I were to go up to this painting over here and I walked up to it and I looked from the side, I wouldn't really see much. I'd kind of see the flatness of the paper. But if I was to walk around this sculpture, I could see different angles and shapes of that sculpture. So that's what makes it three dimensional versus a sheet of paper that's been painted on. That's gonna be flat, it's gonna be 2D, okay? Let's look at our art project this week. We'll be focusing on creating a sculpture out of lines. We're gonna be focusing on zigzag, spiral, and arch, okay? Now, you're going, to be, you're going to be using the sheet as a guide on how to make your sculpture. So for example, let's look at our first square right here. If your favorite food is pizza, you're gonna make a yellow zigzag. If you have a pet dog, you would make a red arch, okay? If you like chocolate ice cream over vanilla, you would make a blue arch. You're going to be following this as a guideline to help you make your paper sculpture, okay? And I will upload this as a document so you can look at it while you work, okay? Now, materials needed for this project. You're going to need Elmer's glue, pencil, construction paper. You need red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink. You can choose whatever, you, whatever color you want for your foundation. And what I mean by that, this is your foundation. It's gonna support all of the lines that you create and you're gonna glue them onto that foundation. So whatever color you want, you can choose it, okay? I'm probably gonna do white or black because that's not one of the colors I'll be using to create my lines, okay? So in your next video, I'm going to have a demonstration on how to create all of these new lines that we're going to be making. So let's go back.
So I'm gonna teach you how to make a zigzag line. I'm gonna teach you how to make a spiral. And the arch is actually not on this picture, but I'm gonna show you how to make arch, it's right here, okay? So we'll learn how to do all of those and I'll show you how to glue them onto your foundation, okay? So watch your next video, get your materials ready, and we'll start with our art project. Bye y'all.